The 4th Space Operations Squadron operates the Milstar and Advanced Extremely High Frequency, or AEHF, military satellite communication systems. The squadron provides highly protected military satellite communications for their users. We've got two sets of users, strategic and tactical. Strategic is the nuclear triad with POTUS and the SECDEF, combatant commanders. Our tactical users are the Army Marines, you know, the ground pounders, the bubbas that need some sort of protected communication back home. We're low probability of intercept and low probability of detection, just the way we go. The overall Milstar and AEHF missions ensure communication still function in a nuclear environment. The idea came into fruition during the Cold War, and Forsops began launching their satellites in 1991. Today, the team continues to advance their constellation, aiming to provide a more robust and protected military communication service. So my mission is to go anywhere around the world, hypothetically, be able to kick my asset off a plane and actually pull and execute operations. The mobiles right here, uh, there, there's three different mission sets that we have. We have an endurance mission, which is a wartime, an event of a nuclear war. We have a contingency mission, which is what we're practicing right here, and the event of one of our satellites becoming remote or isolated from the rest of the constellation. And we have a tertiary mission, which is to be the backup for the operations floor down at Shreve Air Force Base. So out here we're practicing our contingency mission. Uh, in a peacetime environment, uh, if a satellite breaks away from the rest of the constellation, then we go provide uh, cryptographic rekeys for our users out in that area. In the recent 2016 mission, the team made history by successfully flying the semi-trailer and low-profile antenna assets overseas to conduct operations. The space operators must be weapons qualified and trained to defend the assets they operate throughout the world. We work with the cops on base hand in hand at Shriver, and they are probably some of the best trainers that we could ever ask for. They take us through and we do things like room clearing, how to actually set up a convoy, how to protect an asset, how to do things that space operators don't normally do. For the Forest Space Operations Squadron Airmen, this is a tremendous accomplishment. You know, they've put in a lot of effort. A lot of folks will talk about millennials and how, you know, it's all about them, you know, themselves and everything. And, and what our young airmen have done today is they've shown that they have the vigor and the, the tenacity to get the job done no matter what.